Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I have actually finished a journal. I haven't been crafting all that much. Um, I kind of feel like I lost my crafty mojo for a while and just started doing other things. So, I um, have made a big accomplishment by actually completing this journal. So, I'm going to do a quick flip through here for you. Um, this was just kind of something fun. Um... I was doing a lot of like vintage things so this I had to like completely just rechange my style to do something different um, I guess to make it feel fresh and new again so this has just a pocket back here it's just a real thin pocket but I put a bunch of vintage lace on the back there so this is um, a great big folio that I've made using this really cute scrapbook paper and it's kind of vintagey but not really so um i did like emboss a vellum sheet here and put some um like that lumiere stuff that i like that's really glittery and i just thought that was really pretty on the cover so um this may seem a little juvenile to some but honestly i think it's just cute so here we go let's go through this this is a big giant portfolio and when it's open all the way if you can see it goes all the way open this way so there's one two three four panels and then this one opens up one two three panels so it is a big folio so it just when it's all said and done folds all up to um this is six by nine yeah it's just a six by nine folded up and then when you open it up all the way i think we are at let's see we've got 18 and it is over two feet long so we have a big folio here so let's just go through so this is just a um a gusseted pocket here some lace and then i made like a little scrappy notebook in here um as you can see the the scrapbook paper is just really kind of cute and fun i don't know why i just really enjoyed working with this something a little bit different i did a little bit of cute stamping on the bottom of each of this um, black bean dyed paper it got kind of grungy looking if you can see but that's just a cute little tearaway notebook in there um, and that just closes that pocket up and let's go to the one side first so then it opens up and there's just pockets here and here and these are just pieces from like the um, the scrap or the yeah the scrapbook kit um, and then these are just velcroed down and they open up and you could put pictures back here I kind of think you know like if I had this I would continue to decorate it um, but it's just super cute back here if you open up one more these are two vellum pockets and I just did some um, stenciling on them and then inside the vellum pocket I just made a little this is actually I was experimenting with dyeing with mint leaves and this is what mint leaves came out with I was really hoping for more something green but it came out very yellowish which kind of matches the yellowish in this so you have a piece of mint dyed paper there and the same thing on the bottom vellum pocket is just another piece of mint paper, which I thought really showed the stenciling. Kind of cute. So then I have two pockets over here. They're just torn um, scrapbook pockets. You can see like the bikes and the trucks and the flowers and just cute scrapbook paper, really. So a great big tag here. Some cute stamping. Some little pieces I've cut out. This just I made a pocket and another you know bookmark like here I started to to color to kind of give you an idea like you know you just 
be, get creative with this. I would color these all in and, uh, you know, turn this into a bookmark maybe or, you know, jot some favorite quotes down. That's kind of how I see this journal being used. Just a very cute, fun journal. Um, you know, and not just for, you know, a younger person. It could be definitely, like, I would definitely pick this out too, you know. Just cute. Just really cute. So here's more of that mint dyed paper which I just think is is neat um, I've been trying to dye different papers with plants to see what I get I've been having some fun dyeing papers so this is just a big great big journaling card um, I would put some you know photos back here or cut out you know pieces and glue them in you know like make this more of a scrapbook type journal or put pictures of your fur babies on there. Um, this pocket I just embossed. Got a cute little glittery sticker there. It's like three dimensional, sticks up a little bit. So that's that side, the left side. Then you go to the right side. Just got a cute belly band, made a little tag here. And you know, I tried to mix a little vintage with it, you know, um, and then just a coffee dyed piece on the back. Um, but the florals were really pretty with the lace. And then I got some of the rickrack on the edges here. And then this opens up and these both open up. There's a lot of interaction with this journal, really fun. Um, in here, there I've just got some cute little like cactuses and then another torn pocket. Um, this here is just a great big fold out tag. So I've got a great big tag here to play with do something fun with. Um, this is just some of that handmade paper, which is in a pretty color that matches all the cute little orange kitty cats in here. So there's cats and dogs and all kinds of stuff in here, just cute. And then in these pockets, just more little journaling cards. Some things have cute words and sayings on them. Lots of places to tuck things in, save your goodies in. And then I guess we'll keep going out. So then this here's another pocket, cute tag, just did uh, some uh, collaging on. That folds out again. These pockets, I just die cut out a piece, a little cute flower, just more fun journaling cards. Did some stamping on the back of these. Lots of things I think you know you can continue to, to add on and play with. Another really pretty journaling card just backed with some coffee dyed paper. I like the roses and flowers in these with the cheesecloth behind them. It's very cute. Here I just did a belly band with some lace and a cute little butterfly button. Made a envelope did some collaging on the envelope and then in it is just a great big card you could use for anything and that just gets tucked in there just really pretty colors the greens and yellows all just look very summery and springy here's some more of that real wide vintage lace a little uh um brad there and that both folds up can't see the top but there is a pocket up there with just a little daily affirmations this was just part of the kit but i thought it was cute to keep that gets tucked in there and then the bottom one there's another this is just a fun piece i would put this in there somewhere and put like a picture or a quote on just made another little envelope Another little piece of scrapbook paper to play with. Aren't these cute? Just all the cute, fun little groceries. And then in here, I just, um, part of the theme of continuing to decorate and play with this, um, I included like some leftover pieces that had like, you know, like the strips. You could use these as like washi strips. Um, and these cute pieces were kind of more plain backgrounds you could easily turn these into more journaling cards or bookmarks or write on them just cute fun pieces and then here's a great big 
journaling card. So just some pieces more like I was saying, I think, you know, the person, if you know, you would want to continue to add to it and turn it into more of a big scrapbook thing. Okay, so now we're in the center here and this just has some lace behind it, the same lace I've used. And this here flips up. And at the top here, just some more pockets. Here is just another little planner like this week, Sunday through Saturday. And then a couple more little cute cards. I did a little bit of stamping here and there. Some collage pieces. Um, in the center here, this is two vellum pockets. I did not tuck anything into these just because they were so pretty right now, but you could easily put a picture behind there and still see through it. It just got the gold leaves behind it. So there's two pockets there. And then this folds open. And this is just a removable. Um, and it can stay in there, but you can add another one if you make another one. Um, just a little another tearaway notebook. So I made it so that if you wanted to make another one, you could easily tuck a new notebook in there. So here's just a piece of scrap paper. And then this is just a little band I have on there to keep the paper in place. So that just slides on there. But this is just like some ledger paper that I've coffee dyed. It's a little bit grungy looking. So there's my little ode to the vintage right here. And then this just slides back on if I can do it quickly so that it stays in place. And then that just gets tucked back there to kind of highlight the cute little flower truck. And then in the center here, this is actually a great big vellum pocket. Again, there is just like the, le the fern leaves at the bottom here. Um, I had the typewriter paper behind it, which is really cute, but you could tuck something back there and it would show through. Really cute. And then that opens up and we've got two pockets over here with some journaling cards that I put some lace on, did some stamping, some cute little stickers and those get tucked in there and you can see the lace at the top, which is cute. There's another one. They're kind of like three dimensional. I don't know if you can see them very well that they're three dimensional, but they stand out a little bit. So there's that one. And then in the center here, another torn pocket, actually two torn pockets here. And then I've got two great big journaling cards again, left blank on the back to put, you know, like I would glue down bits and pieces. I like to glue out, like cut out quotes and stuff. And that's what I tend to use as inspiration is cut out quotes and glue them down. So that's what I would probably do with those. There is the whole journal. If I can figure out how it all goes back together. And then the removable, this is just a removable, pretty satin teal sash on here. And that is it. So if you guys are interested, I have this listed in my Etsy shop and I will link it in the description box below, but go take a look if you would like to uh, purchase the journal and I will hopefully see you guys soon with some more crafting videos so hope you're all doing well take care and I will see you later bye